What's up guys, my name's Chris and we're going to be checking out the brand new 2021 Trek Merlin series. Hopefully it's not too windy for you. Um, I'll throw up a couple pictures now. So with this year's Merlins they've done some major changes which are coming. Um, kind of cool thing that's going to be changing is all of them now from the Merlin 5 up will be on a 2x system instead of the 3. And the Merlin 7 is actually going to a 1x system and it's going to get the Dior 1x10 which the Fuel X5 used to have. The Fuel X5 itself is being upgraded to the new Dior 1x12. So there's some major changes across the board here. Um, some of these changes could be altered before production is completely finished. Nothing has shipped out yet, but dealers should see this stuff around the end of July. So yeah, and the big difference is that front chain ring. On the Merlin 5s of 2020, you'd have a 3x7. Now they're just going to a 2x7. Um, they'll put a slightly different chain ring and cassette on it to kind of compensate. So you'll overall get a very similar kind of shifting and feeling bike just with a lot more reliability of that 2 by system instead of having such a wide range for the 3 to go on. Um, everything else honestly is about the same. I'm looking at the hopeful specs of it here. Um, the Merlin 6 itself is staying the exact same with two new colors hopefully coming out and again they should be available in July. The Merlin 7 now is coming with that one by 10 Dior which is really cool. Long cage derailleur so you will be able to potentially extend that cassette to a really big one. Right now it comes with an 11 to 42 I think it is. 11 to 46. So that's kind of awesome. Everything else about them is going to be pretty much the same. The brakes are about the same. Um, the weight range for the bikes are the same. Really it's just going to be a new look which they do look really nice. And the drivetrain has changed. So so I think leaving the 3x system behind on the Merlin 5 is a really wise choice. Everyone wants a simpler system, plus it's going to give less issues like chain suck and drag and dropping of the chain and, and make it a little more reliable. Overall you will lose a teeny bit of range, but I don't think anyone really uses those super low gears anyway or the crazy high gears. And not for the Merlin anyway, it will just make it that much more capable of a mountain bike. So yeah, these pictures are kind of pre-roll, pre-demo. That's all I could find right now on the internet after scouring. Hopefully very soon we'll have more options. Yeah, that's a quick little video um, the Merlins are coming back in stock hopefully July a lot of the dealers will see them the 2021s are gonna be way better in my mind going to that single chain ring on the Merlin 7 the Merlin 6 should be the exact same with new colors and the Merlin 5 getting the 2 by system to it is gonna be very simple easy to work on less issues and I think more enjoyable for everyone who here bought a Merlin 5 from 2020 and now is regretting it and thinking they should get the 2021? Or who here was disappointed that potentially they bought, they ran out of 2020s, but now in my mind, you gotta get such a better bike, such easier. <clears throat> you gotta get such a better bike. Um, I don't think waiting another month is gonna be too big of a deal. Definitely sucks, but you know, there's not much you can do about it. Had the camera set up on the tree here balanced precariously if you like this kind of update video very short and sweet uh, please comment below and tell me if you'd like more of them as the new models get released as well like and subscribe if that's the kind of thing you like